Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I want to talk about what your strengths and what your weaknesses are and what you bring to the industry as a medical tourism facilitator. So when you're first starting out and you're building your company, you really want to take an honest look at what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are and what you bring to the industry. And everybody has strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, a lot of people, they get into medical tourism because maybe they've had an operation done overseas before and they had a great experience and so now they're looking at opportunities opportunities of how they can contribute to the industry uh, by being a medical tourism facilitator. And so a strength would be for them is that they've actually been through the medical tourism process and they know how it works and they can share firsthand experience with their potential clients and with their prospects. Another strength could be is maybe you're a travel agent or maybe you have a background of working with international patients uh, or maybe you're from the healthcare industry. Everybody has strengths, you just have to find out what yours are. And a really easy way to analyze your strengths and your weaknesses is to get a piece of paper out, get a pen and write down strengths and weaknesses and really write down what you feel like you would bring to the industry as a medical tourism facilitator and what would set you apart from your competitors. So I mentioned a few strengths like, you know, you've been a medical tourist before so you have firsthand knowledge or maybe from the healthcare industry or travel agent, but you can also have indirect strengths that you bring to the industry. And what I mean by indirect strengths is maybe you have a background in marketing, or maybe you have a background in customer service, or maybe you're a compassionate person and it's easy for you to communicate that to others. So these are strengths. They're not direct strengths that correlate to medical tourism, but they're strengths that'll help you grow your business and they're unique to you. So I mentioned a couple of strengths. Um, now I wanna just talk about some weaknesses maybe that you have. Maybe you don't have any experience in the medical tourism industry. I work with a lot of medical tourism facilitators who have no experience in the medical tourism industry. That's a weakness, but everything in the medical tourism industry can be taught. So everything can be taught and you can learn everything you need to be a successful medical tourism agency. Maybe you aren't good at customer service. Maybe you're not good at marketing or you've never had a business before, or maybe you don't like sales. There's a lot of weaknesses that you may have, but you wanna be very honest with yourself and really write down what weaknesses you have and what strengths you have and capitalize on your strengths and make yourself the best medical travel agent possible. So I wanted to make this short video so you guys can get an understanding of where to start when you're launching your medical tourism agency and how to analyze yourself and how to understand what you bring to the marketplace. But we go a lot deeper in this in our certification program. If you guys need more information on how to start your company or maybe some tools or resources that you need, reach out to me. Um, I'm gonna leave my information down below, but thank you guys for watching this video.